Hello and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. Let's play 1.18. I suppose 1.18.8. So it's been a little bit of a while since the last episode. Went away on a family vacation. Had a fun time. It's a great time to spend some time with family. It's always nice to spend time with the family. Uh, we went over to Wales actually. And I was lucky enough to uh, visit a, uh, a Bronze Age mine. I enjoyed it. I don't know how much everybody else enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed it. It's really, really great. Really good time. But yeah, um, so hence the reason for no content in the last while. Anyway, we've, uh, I've not done much. I've not done much in the area. I went a little bit of a prospecting uh, in the area, uh, over there predominantly. Did a little bit of a bridge across the other side of the island because it made more sense. Uh, but apart from that, not a lot. Now, in today's episode, let me close the door. In today's episode, I want to get a cellar. So basically, I want to situate a cellar, uh, and I want to make sure I've got plenty of storage vessels to go in the cellar, uh, and so we can start getting ready for winter nice and early, uh, and we can start preparing um, ahead of time, and so basically rushing around last minute. Right, so but where do I want the cellar? Now, I want the cellar where I'm going to finally have my actual house this is not my actual house this is just a starter shack this is somewhere to lay my head at this current moment in time my starter house i think i actually want in the location that i was going to choose so there's two locations there's this one and the other location was up by the big oak trees which is just over here see the big oak trees oh straight past here and uh, there's a bit there's a wide open space here uh, and uh, to us, I, I, I like this area, I really do, with the big smashing oak trees, and I was thinking we could have a house here, um, and we can pretty much convert all of this area to our, to our little kingdom, I suppose, but yeah, so I want to have a cellar here, now, I have been doing some testing in my creative test world, to see what is the optimization of cellars, that's right, I am, I am that nerd, um, so using the wiki, uh, basically uh, what they've been saying is what the optimization is for a seller. Um, and basically using my own common sense and a bit of building, I, um, I, yeah, I did some work there. So let's go over to my, I think we share, let's go over to my creative test world. Welcome to my test world. <laughs> yes, I said, I've been very, very nerdy. So as you can see below me, we have uh, different dimensions of sellers. So we've got a four by four by four, five by five by five, six by six by six, a seven by seven by seven, eight by eight by eight, and nine by nine by nine. Now when I'm saying nine by nine by nine, it is nine bricks, and it's nine bricks, and it's nine bricks down. And same for the four by four by four. So it's four bricks across, four bricks down, and four bricks that way as well. Now, according to the vintage story wiki you can't have a cellar bigger than seven by seven by seven but my question was this this is very very it's not exactly crystal clear what it means is the seven by seven by seven this so it's seven bricks by seven bricks down and seven bricks across to give it basically a five by five by five inside or do they mean seven by seven by seven as in inside the actual cell of itself it is you can walk seven blocks and seven blocks so i wanted to do a better testing i also wanted to see if there's any difference between basically having a four by four by four cellar and a nine by nine by nine so this is massive by the way uh and yeah this is my findings so far there's no difference <laughs> literally none whatsoever so what i did i basically spent a month in here so i placed onions in each one let me get that so I break that break that one comfort the door close the door right so this one so vegetables 0.17 which is a very 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 good um perishable speed and this has got 1.4 years on it so basically keep me going for a while so that's a four by four by four all right now if i go over to the nine by nine by nine oh and by the way what i found out when they say a seven by seven by seven it means this size it means basically nine blocks on the outside going across nine blocks going up and nine blocks 
So inside the actual room itself, it is seven by seven by seven. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by seven by seven. And inside here, pretty much the exact same. Storage, food, perish speed for vegetables, 0.19 grain, 0.13 and other 0.26, which is all very, very good. And in here is fresh for 1.3 years. And this is, you can pretty much agree, a massive room. Now, there is no difference whether I'm basically playing on creative in this world or survival because I tried them both. So I tried basically survival, uh, the actual perishing speeds and everything else like that. And it's no difference. Basically, as long as you're ticking over time, uh, vegetables will still, it'll still perish the same amount if you was playing in survival. Right, so yeah. Now, the important thing is, as you can see, there is no windows. There is no windows. And I've used stone. Now, it is a big deal. It is an actually big deal, surprise enough. Um, depending on what you use to make your cellar out of. Uh, according to the wiki, packed dirt is completely fine, but stone is probably the, the best. Um, when it comes to a door, now an actual door made out of planks is absolutely fine. Your hewn door, your basic door, is not. So if you're starting out, if you're building yourself a cellar, don't use a hewn door. Just block it off. Uh, it also says you can use hair to block off the door. That's completely fine. Light sources, torches, and lanterns don't affect your spoilage rates, which is quite good. So you can keep it lit up. There's no problem with keeping it lit up. It doesn't affect the spoilage rate. It is natural light. Now, you can have it underground, but you can have it also overground as long as you can have it like this if you wanted to. I'm going to have mine underground just because it's just... It's just food storage, I don't know. There's nothing else I can do with it. So I'm going to come out here. Um, I'll close you up. Close you up again. There we go. So each one of these is exactly the same. So from the 4x4 four four to the 9x9x9, nine by nine by nine, it's exactly the same rate. Of, you know, basically, all the onions are lasting between 1.3 years and 1.4 years. The actual spoilage rate is around about the same. Give or take, you know, you may have 0.17 in one and 0.16 in another. Not a great deal of difference, I know. So it comes down to basically how big do you want your cellar? Now I've actually done how many blocks it takes. So if you used to make a cellar, including the floor with, with actual bricks, a four by four by four, costs you 96 bricks 150 bricks 216 bricks 294 384 and for the full size 9 by 9 by 9 it is 486 so as i don't have a great deal of resources as yet i think i'm going to choose a 5 by 5 by 5 now as this is a single player more than enough storage I've got plenty of shelves to have, you know, lots of basically um, storage pots. Uh, I've got my storage vessels as well. See for this one, 1 point, no, sorry, 0 0.19. There we go. So 1.2 years, still a ridiculously long time and stuff. And I think this is this is good enough. I don't think I need more than this. It's only me in the world after all. And uh, but yeah, I thought I'd share that information with you. I thought it'd be quite helpful i'll uh i'll back up and uh oh, let me just get rid of that and let me put it back to daylight again there we go thank you right let me back up i'll go up in the air and that way you can pause the video if you want to because you have an idea of uh the different sizes then there we go so four by four by four five by five by five six by six by six 7x7x7, 8x8x8, seven by seven by seven, eight by eight by eight, and 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. Now, you may be lucky enough to uh, to obviously have enough bricks to do this one. You've got 500 bricks spare. Do the biggest one. <laughs> it's up to you. You're calling at the end of the day. But yeah, uh, you can pause the video if you want. You can write down the numbers. Uh, 
There we go. Make it nice and clear for you. Go up a little bit there. There you go. Happy days. Right. Uh, I'll uh, let's go back to the uh, survival world, shall we? Well, I've dug myself out a little hall here. So let's put the base down first. So one, two, three, uh, four, five. And we're going five down as well. So it's two, three, four, five. So that's going to be all absolutely fine. And then we're going to be going, going upwards now. So one at the bottom and then two, three, two, three, four, five. Come out here. There we go. And then you as well. And I'm going to basically cover this in just one layer of soil as well. And then we're going to make some sort of entryway so we can get in absolutely fine. There we go, and then seal in the top as well. And there we go. We have a coffin. <laughs> no, we got. <laughs> I know it looks like a coffin, but it's not. Uh, we basically have a cellar now, which is uh, excellent for us. I just need to find some way of uh, getting in there and getting out there. Let's uh, cover this up. so it looks half decent and hopefully this should grow over but uh like i said this is going to be the cellar and hopefully the best of the house will go on top of it and cover you over as well there we go i mean i suppose i could do just a simple ladder down that would work absolutely fine So yeah, this is the cellar now, um, and I, yeah, I suppose I could do. I'm gonna stick some. I got plenty of sticks on me. So if we do it this way, there we go. So get a couple of ladders. And if we break out to this piece here, there we go. And then we put some ladders down. And go all the way down, and there we go. This should be a working cell. Now, as I don't have a light source at this moment in time, I'm gonna have to just lay down uh, some stones because uh, that's the only safest way to do it. And we'll do uh, you. Oh, we'll do you. 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 Yes, you can use this as well uh, to make the place unspawnable. And there we go. This is our first cellar. Absolutely fine and dandy. -o. Now it should keep everything nice and cold inside there. And uh, yeah, actually I'm going to change that out to um, a, a, an actual clear one. Just so I know how to get inside there. And there we go. And happy days. Now our actual um, starter base is over there. So we've got the map. So I'm over here. Now I do want to put some sort of pathway in. Now I do have some path blocks. And the path blocks are just made with stone. So just basically, you know, individual pieces of stone uh, and um, dirt. Simple as that, just, just stone and dirt. Now the pathway, the path blocks have uh, two uses. The first use is that they are, um, they make you walk faster, they make you run faster, which is great. Uh, and the second one is basically that the drifters can't spawn on them, which is even better. But yeah, so there we go, our simple cellar. Uh, and uh, I need to just make a little pathway running all the way over here. And all the way to over here. Oh, some berries. Don't mind if I do. Take some berries with me. There we go. My berries don't seem to be growing very well underneath the little house. I don't know why. Yeah, they're not to be growing at all, to be honest. But yeah, I did manage to come. I did manage to basically get catch a couple of rabbits inside here. I've got three rabbits which I killed, 
uh, nothing to do at this moment in time. The garden is growing slowly, but it is growing. So that's increased a little bit, two, for, two out of nine. Uh, and a bit of the flax is growing as well, which is quite good. I was doing a little bit of prospecting in the area, uh, and I came across an area over here. Hopefully it should be nice and safe. Okay. Hey, bunny rabbit. And uh, I wasn't actually that far down. And when I used the prospecting pick, it actually showed quite a few things, namely iron as well. So I had svalerite, uh, laminite. Uh, is it laminite? Yeah, I think it's laminite. Um, and a few other ites as well. <laughs> that fox. Yeah, that's a fox over there. We'll ignore the fox. We'll leave him to it. And it is actually over here. So yeah, I'm going to have a little dig around here in between episodes and hopefully uh, if I come across anything decent, I'll uh, I'll bang it on and I'll record it as well. There was something up here though that I couldn't quite pin, put my finger on. It's, it's basically, it's a black piece. I don't know whether it's just a bit of um, obsidian maybe or something else. I'm just a figment of my imagination, I think. Strange. Oh, weird. So if I bring up my map and I get rid of this, so I delete it. Before there was like a yeah, see? There's a there. That single black piece. Basically here. I don't know what it is, by the way. Don't worry, I've got ladders can get out. It's probably nothing. What's that? Oh, zinc! <laughs> so is that a marking for zinc, is it? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Little black dots on the surface is a marking for zinc. I mean, I'll take all the zinc, you know. It's that as well. Oh, even more zinc. Oh. So zinc, I know it's got some uses and it's got some good uses. I just can't remember what they are. Um, for you basically brilliant miners out there, can you uh, just... Pop it in um, my comment section. What 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 I need to use zinc for? But yeah, maybe that's a maybe, maybe that's an actual thing with the map and stuff. This is a large. This is a large. Yeah, this is massive ore of zinc. Yeah. So in the comment section, just pop down. You know what the actual uses of zinc are. Um, it's not exactly showing me much. You know, I can make some plates and stuff, but. I thought I, could, I thought I could combine it with other things um, to possibly make to make to, to make something else. Got a lot of zinc there. What have we got there? So it's twenty-seven spellerite. Um, and another well, that's quite nifty. Well, maybe that is a thing on maps. That little black spot that I noticed, it led me straight to the zinc. Maybe it's an actual thing, but always. But yeah, I'm going to have a look around for uh, that big ore cluster that I found. And it's uh, over here, I think. Uh, before my pickaxe runs out and I have to make a new one. And I'm hopeful, going to try to make a, um, a pickaxe with a little bit more... Oh, Maybe a tier three pickaxe. Just oh, I got some blue clay there as well. Quite nifty. Play all over the place to be really honest. It's not exactly in uh, short supply. So should we have a little nosy down? I think we should have a little nosy downwards. Maybe let's pick a nice unwet area. Maybe straight down. Yeah, straight down here. We we'll go here. Oh, how much durability have I got left on my pickaxe? <laughs> Not much. Well, well, we'll mine down until it breaks. How about that?
Whoa! What the hell? Oh, what over here? Oh, what's with? Oh, we got a chest. We got a fire. What the hell? This is not mine. Oh, we've got rot. Yay! And bones. Yay! This is almost like a um. Let me put some some light on here. Is there anything else? It's like a half broken structure. It's weird. You know what I mean? I didn't place this down. There's nothing inside there. It's like it's weird. Oh. Oh, what's down here? Oh, what's down here? I can see bones. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, God. He's seen better days, hasn't he? Ah, oh, Persaud. A carcass of a humanoid. We've got a bit of a bed here. Collapsed chest. Ooh, we've got a scroll. We've got a lovely new shovel. Some rice seeds. Flint knife. Over here. Uh, more rot. Some blades. Some bony soil. Oh, what's that one? That's gold, isn't it? <gasps> Native gold ore. Ooh. Gold is really rare in this game. Really rare. Oh, wow. This is cool. Yeah, this is quite nifty, this is. Yeah. And just think, I, I could have missed all this. But yeah, I will, I will come and empty this out. Hopefully there's more than just that clay. Anything behind there. Oh, what's there then? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like this. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how deep this is. How how, how much of a layer it is. I mean, maybe there's a downstairs section as well. No. Just that. Ah, oh, carcass of a human. Shame. Yeah. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put these back. I don't. I don't want to take them with me at this moment in time. Just because I don't have a great deal of inventory space to start off with. We'll just leave you there. Ah. Oh. Anyway, right, um, should we take a picture? We'll take a picture. And there we go, and we'll go, get rid of you, and we'll do. Right, guys, that'll do it for me today. Uh, super interesting finds. I'm going to have a little dig around here, and hopefully I will be able to find uh, some of that uh, iron that i come across before. I'm hoping it's iron. 3% ultra high. It's going to lead to iron, isn't it? To be brutally honest. Anyway, guys, uh, nice seeing you all as always. And I will uh, I will see you in the next episode. All right, guys? Bye-bye for now. Bye.